What is going on guys? Grave here today as I talk about some of the changes that was made for Modern Warfare 3's launch. I'm hoping we're going to get an official kind of statement from Sledgehammer, maybe some patch notes or something, uh, sometime today before the official launch tonight, you know, around midnight or early tomorrow morning, depending on where you live. But we did get some info about some, you know, from some people that actually were able to get into the game early. And a lot of these changes I think people are really going to be excited about. Before I get into all the details, be sure to check out everything down in the description, the community Discord, my Twitter, and of course, if you enjoy the video, hit the like button. And if you have not subscribed to the channel yet, I hope you consider subscribing. It says the calling card will be back in the top right in match. So that's kind of an old school Call of Duty thing where you got to see the calling card, you know, kind of uh, in the game, in the match. So that's going to be uh, brought back to the game. The kill counter will be brought back as well. A slide only option. Now, this means you can turn off the dolphin dive. Now, if you want to leave the dolphin dive on, that's perfectly fine. You won't have to change anything in the settings. But if you would prefer to just have a slide-only option, that will be available. And I think this is really for ease of use for maybe people that do not uh, or have not played a lot of Call of Duties in the past or maybe are not good at slide canceling. This will kind of help you from dolphin diving and trying to slide cancel at the same time. Because sometimes until you get the hang of it, you will dolphin dive instead of slide cancel. So you will have that option to have the slide only option available to you. Also, it says the overkill vest will let you do two secondaries or two primaries, which is something that I think a lot of people will be interested in to hear as well. Better visibility. Uh, and I will say that there's been some images and things leaked, uh, screenshots and whatnot. The visibility does look better on older gen consoles. Now, when it comes to newer gen consoles and PC, the visibility was not that bad to begin with, but I do know that they have made some touch-ups, you know, just colors and things in general, just to make the game look better uh, from the beta. Of course, we kind of all expected that, but uh, that better visibility is definitely going to be something, uh, you know, that's going to be good for all of us, whether you play on old gen consoles or if it's just kind of touching up the colors and things for the new gen consoles and PC. And last but not least, medals will pop up uh, kind of in game so that you get that metal pop up animation, which is something else to kind of go along with that kill counter. You know, a lot of people like to have the kill counter in game if you're going for a nuke. Also, medals popping up in game was something that was all one of those, another one of those things that was kind of an old school Call of Duty thing that people kind of missed over the years. And I'm glad that it's coming back as well. But like I said, hopefully Sledgehammer is going to maybe give us a list of things that has changed, you know, with a day one kind of patch. We may not get that info to, until tomorrow, but I'm hoping we may get some info today. We'll kind of have to wait and see. But I just kind of want to list these things that, you know, people have kind of found out uh, since some people have been able to get in to the game early. But leave me a comment with your thoughts. Let me know if you're looking forward to Modern Warfare 3 uh, later tonight. Of course, if you like the video, hit the like. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so, and I'll catch you next time. Peace.